Hi guys and welcome to part 29 and the last part of these tutorials. On the last part we learned how to authenticate the users using the Firebase authentication and on this part we are going to learn how to authenticate users using the Auth0. So let's start by first logging in and you can choose different methods to log in. I'm going to log in using my GitHub account and here you are going to get the dashboard of Auth0. Click the new client, name your client book notes or whatever you want because this is just a name then from the options below our application is a single page application so we are going to select the second options and click create for our application we are using the angular 4.3 version so we are going to select the angular 2 plus option we are going to get this authentication process and now here we have the official documentation for configuring the alt 0 the first step is that we need to install the alt 0 js by using the npm for that go to visual code and here paste the command and press enter. The next step is that we need to import the out0 javascript library. So for that we can either use a CDN or we can get it from our node modules. I'm going to use a CDN so I'm just going to copy this code and go to index.html file. Inside the head tag I'm going to paste the script tag. The next step is that we need to create the authentication service. So for that, let's create a new file named auth.service.ts and put all this code inside it. We are going to create an auth.service.ts file. We paste the code in here and here you are going to see all the auth0 configurations. Since this is a service and we need to use it, it means that we need to configure it in our app.module.ts file. So for that go to your app.module.ts and first import the file. We imported the service. To use it we need to paste it inside our providers array at the same place where we have previously configured our Firebase service and we save the changes. So this is all we need to do. Now let's go to our navigation bar component. And on our navigation bar.component.ts, we are going to inject our new service. So for that, we just write private AS authentication service. We import it and then we modify our login method. So I'm going to first comment out this line of code. And here I'm just going to write this.as service.login. Save the changes and run your application. So ng serve. The application was compiled successfully. Now let's go back to our browser and press the login button. We see that we get an error and it says that this URL is not in the list of the allowed callback URLs. What we need to do is that we need to copy this URL and go to our application settings page. We scroll down a little bit and here we are going to see allowed callback URLs. We paste our URL go to the bottom and press the save changes button so the changes were saved now let's go back to our application we click the login button one more time and here we are going to see five options to log into our application so i'm going to select the google authentication i'm going to enter the credentials then the out0 is going to ask me for permission so i'm just going to allow it and we see that the user was signed in now to see the authenticated users Go to your dashboard and from the dashboard go to the users options. And here you are going to get a table of users with details like name, email, the latest login, the number of logins with the same account and the connection that was used. So guys, this is how you authenticate on Angular application using the Alt0 and this is all for this course. If you have not subscribed yet, make sure that you do by pressing the subscribe button. Thank you for watching and see you on the upcoming courses.